guys, it's Glenn from glenncarcollection.com and today we're going to talk about five cars that only come with automatic transmissions. And here's one of them, the C8 Corvette. Now this comes with a 8-speed Tremec dual clutch transmission. You can see my full review on this car on the C8 on this channel, so we won't have to get into great detail here, but this is one of the best new cars out there. Why is it so good? Well, first of all, it is now mid-engine, and this comes from a longtime Corvette owner that's owned many Corvettes. I just love this new body style with the mid-engine. We have the 6.2 liter V8, naturally aspirated, so no turbos here, producing 495 horsepower. I was a little worried about the dual clutch transmission. All the Corvettes I've owned have been manual transmissions, so why do they go with the dual clutch? Well, first of all, 80% of Corvettes historically have been sold with automatic transmissions. And because of packaging reasons, they wouldn't be able to fit a manual transmission for this car. So you know what? We should embrace it. It is zero to 60 time claimed by GM of 2.9 seconds. This car is really fast with the dual clutch transmission. And it actually ships really, really well. I was afraid of GM's first dual clutch, how good would be on this car. But believe me, there is nothing to worry about. And I can only imagine how good the Grand Sport will be, uh, the Z06, the ZR1 or Zora, whatever they call it. We already make 495 horsepower, and this is just in base form. Now, this car rides really well, handles the bumps, very smooth riding car. You can definitely do long highway trips with it. You have plenty of different exterior and interior colors. I love this adrenaline red interior. Seeing in person doesn't do it justice on the picture, so definitely check out the full video here. Now you have a car that can compete with supercars at a regular Corvette price, even a fantastic Corvette price. It's always been a lot of bang for the buck, this car, and I think this C8 Corvette definitely proves it. I really look forward to see the new additions of this car, and it can only get better from here. Again, enjoy that amazing sounding, naturally aspirated V8 engine. And another car that only comes with an automatic transmission is the new Toyota Supra. We have a full review on this car on the channel again, so check it out. And uh, this car was really a blast to drive. Nothing to worry about here. This is an 8-speed automatic, torque converter automatic. And you can get now a 4-cylinder turbo or a 6-cylinder turbo. We reviewed the 6-cylinder turbo. Uh, for this model year, the horsepower was bumped up to 382. And this car really shifts quick. Uh, what's great about this torque converter automatic is it does really well in traffic. I have a review of this car on the street and on the racetrack. And on the racetrack, the engine shifted really well, really fast, and did a very good impersonation of a dual clutch transmission. And then you have the advantage of the torque converter automatic sitting in traffic going around town. It's very smooth, very visceral car, very good looking car. Now, this car, I think at some point there will be a manual transmission. They could put one in there, and I think that's coming. When sales slow down, uh, I think they're going to have a, maybe at least a special edition with a manual transmission, and I wouldn't be surprised if it's on one of the cars, whether the six-cylinder or the four-cylinder car. So if you really like manual transmission, certainly wait for that. If not, if you want a car that can do everything, track days, take yourself to work and do weekend rides, you could do a lot worse than the Toyota Supra. I think it's an excellent car especially when you factor in price. So something to factor in, obviously, is price, especially how aggressively the C8 Corvette and the C8 Corvette is also a dual clutch. So I think it really comes down to if you're a super fan or a Corvette fan, but you know what? It's great to have choices and you can't go wrong with this car. Yeah, it has a BMW engine, a lot of BMW parts, but you know what? If you follow the channel, you know I love BMWs and have owned 8M cars, so I am perfectly fine with the BMW having uh, a BMW, uh, I'm sorry, with the Supra, see, even I said it, having the Supra with a BMW engine and a lot of BMW running gear, you know what, is perfectly fine. I think Toyota's done a great job on their share engineering here, and I think you're going to have a very reliable car that will have a real good resale value. I know a lot of people were disappointed with the Supra, but all I can tell you is go out and drive one, and I think you'll be very happy, and they made a good car. Maybe they shouldn't have called it Supra, maybe they should have called it something else, but it's definitely a car worth buying, and I think you can have, if you want one car that can do everything, I think you've made a very good choice. All right, so that's two cars, three to go. If you made it this far in the video, then you should certainly subscribe 
If you're a subscriber, hit the notification bell and like and share this video so our channel can grow. And here we have probably one of my favorite cars, the Dodge Challenger Hellcat Red Eye. So the Red Eye version is only available with an eight-speed automatic transmission. Now, if you remember the Red Eye, if you've seen the, our video, we have a video of this. Now, again, this is another car we drove on the street and the track produces 797 horsepower. And if you drive this car, you'll swear it had 1,000 horsepower. That's how fast it is. And it really sounds incredible. Between the exhaust sound and the engine supercharger sound, it uh, is really an amazing car. And it's probably one of my favorites that I've driven on the channel. It comes in real cool colors like this indigo blue. The transmission shifts really well. I know on the lower models of the Challenger, you can get a manual transmission, and that would probably be my choice. But on the Red Eye, it's only available with the automatic, and don't sweat it. This is an excellent, excellent, excellent automatic. You got the fastest and meanest thing on the road, and let's embrace it. This is a great car to buy and have in your collection. On the track, it is a little wide. It is a little heavy. I think it's better for... Uh, some back roads and stoplight to stoplight, but in that case, it does that really, really well. There's few cars out there that are this intimidating, sound this good, and give you this much power that you can literally buy all the, off the showroom floor. All you need is money, and you can have a fantastic car like this. So don't sweat it that the red eye doesn't come with a manual. It's perfectly fine with the eight-speed automatic. All right, so what I want you to do is when this video is over, Leave a comment below which is your favorite of these five cars and what cars I left out. So that brings us now to the BMW M5. Now this has an eight-speed automatic transmission. We have reviews of this on the street and on the track, so you can see the full review here. We don't have to spend all that time on it, but this car is very fast too. About a three seconds, zero to 60 time, 3.1, 2.9, somewhere in that range, and feels every bit of it. I would even say driving this car, it feels faster. And compared to the Hellcat Red Eye, this actually gets all the power to the ground. This is all wheel drive. You can drive it in rear drive mode. It's powered by a 4.4 liter turbocharged V8. And it makes anywhere from 600 to 617 horsepower. So the base model, if you would call that base, is 600 horsepower. And then if you get the competition, that gives you 617 horsepower. You can carry five people. If you get it in a black or gray or white. It can just look like a regular BMW 5 Series. Get it in some bright colors like this one, and everybody will know that you are driving the BMW M5. If I can have just one car as a daily driver, not for track use, even though I've driven this car in the track, but a one daily driver for, for the kids and the office and errands and would be this car. I think this is absolutely the ultimate daily driver. And the transmission is fantastic. And you won't miss that this is the first M5 to not come with a manual transmission. Back in the day, like the E39 M5 and the variants before that, that was the only transmission you can get. Now it's the opposite. The only is the 8-speed automatic. But believe me, this is a fantastic transmission. And then probably the best of all the automatics is in my McLaren 570S. This is a dual-clutch transmission, a 7-speed dual-clutch. And I think the McLaren dual-clutch is as good, if not better, than Porsches. Now, why did I include Porsches in this? Well... The 911 and other variants, Boxer and Cayman, there are models that come available with manuals, and then there are some like the GT3 RS that only come in a dual clutch. But this still, you can get a 911 in stick, so I didn't include it. So the McLaren 570S, there's only one transmission, is the 7-speed dual clutch. But it's probably one of the best uh, transmissions I've ever driven. And I would say you drive it in manual mode. If you drive it in automatic mode, just like most dual clutch transmissions, it will upshift too quickly, and you'll find yourself at a higher gear at a lower speed. So drive it in manual mode where you actually have to do the shifts and then this car is a beast to drive and you can do your F1 driver impersonation because this car you can really go up and down the gears and uh, you won't believe how fast this car actually shifts. All right, so those are the five cars. Let me know in the comments below which was your favorite of these five cars and let me know what cars I should have included in this video and maybe we'll make a follow-up video. Thanks again for watching, subscribing, hitting that notification bell. Like and share this video, and I will see you next time.